Okay, so since you like the quick AM workout so much, I decided to do a quick lunchtime workout for you guys. And I think it would be a good idea so we can all get in shape together. What do we love about Brian Austin Green other than years of awesomeness on 90210? That's right, he landed Megan Fox. She even makes an appearance on his new show. That means that you are intergalactic enemy number one, Tommy, and this blogger is gonna rally all of those angry fans. So what? The nerds, what are they gonna do to me? Mm-hmm. Hey, Tommy, hey, how are your credit cards? They all good? Your well, phone, no, is that good too? That is the wedding band, and it appears Saturday night on TBS at 10 p.m. or 9, so write it down. It's very worthy of a DVR series record. It's really hard to find TV that's good nowadays, isn't it? But The Wedding Man is definitely worthy to check it out. Everybody likes to laugh, right? I hope you do. I put all the essentials in my description box below. It's now called the About section, so make sure that you guys check it out. All right, are you ready for this quick workout that you can do anywhere, anytime, no excuses? I hope you are, so let's get into it. All right, on to our workout for today. So a lot of you always ask, you know, can I do you know this exercise every day and it'd be okay there's a lot of exercises I don't suggest that you do every day because your body will get into the routine and then you'll never see change but this particular workout I really feel you can do it every day you can do it when you wake up you can do it at lunchtime you can do it before you go to bed I call it the lunchtime routine just because it's short and it's quick and so I suggest you do planks so planks is really good for total body toning and we're gonna do it together we're gonna do it to vodka that means we're gonna be doing 10 seconds of rest and 20 seconds of work. But for the 20 seconds of work for the intermediate advance, I want you to try and stay lifted the entire time. So here's some plank etiquette for you. A plank, your, your hands are gonna go under your shoulders just like this. So you're under your shoulders, you're not sinking down, you're not sticking it up either. So you should have a very, very tight core. You should always be able to tilt over and say, Marcy, I got rock solid abs. That's how tight you need to be for the plank. Okay, so there's a difference between a flat belly. I don't know if you can see my stomach change, but a flat belly versus a tight belly. So flat, that means it's kind of like floppy, you know, fat or really, really tight. You want tight. So for the first part of the exercise, we're going to be in a regular traditional plank like this. Then we're going to rotate. We can go ahead and lift that hand up high. We can leave it down low. We can put it on our hip. You're going to hold it for 20 seconds. Then you're going to roll over. You're going to flip the hand this way. Feet out. This is called an inverted plank. Go ahead and plank that body up. Very, very tight body as well. You're going to flip over to the other side. You're going to hold that plank up. You're going to put that hand down or on your hip. And we're going to rotate back over. And we're going to do this for these boxes. That means eight rounds through. That means we're going to be doing a 360 okay so super cool exercise you can do it all the time and i say let's get started beginners what i want you to do for the 10 seconds of rest i actually want you to rest intermediate advance try and stay lifted me myself i might have to break too no worries okay all right so let's get started go ahead and set your interval timer if you don't have an interval timer simply use an app on your smartphone okay so 10 seconds of rest even though it's resting i'm going to try and stay lifted all right let's go so this is 10 seconds of rest, and you can kind of move, you know, you don't have to stay stationary. I like to move and stay active. 20 seconds of work, I'm gonna tense my core extremely tight, and I'm holding it right here. So we're holding it, we're holding it. Very, very, very tight, tight, tight. 20 seconds. And I actually like to put the interval timer on the floor so that I can see it. Go ahead and adjust, you know, get ready for your body. This is also a variation if you do not want to fully extend that foot out. All right, so 20 seconds of work. I'm gonna go ahead and put that hand up and high in the sky, even though you can't see it. And try not to sink down like this. Really get that oblique up. Up, we're toning and we're shredding this fat right here. So holding it up. You can roll the wrist as it's in the air. All right, we're flipping over. Advanced, I don't want that butt touching the ground. Try and stay lifted. We're going to do the inverted plank now. So feet up and lift that body up. Try not to put a lot of pressure on your neck. Okay? You should feel this in your shoulders. And the cool thing about this exercise, you might even start to sweat. And all we're doing is holding our body weight up. It's awesome. So hold it up. 
Now I'm not going to talk, I'm going to flip over to do the other side. So here we go, we're doing the left oblique, okay? Be very tight, remember to breathe. Very nice, we're back over. We have one more round through. Your shoulders should be getting very, very tight right now. And it is okay, shake out those wrists if you need to. 20 seconds, we're up, we're tight. Very, very, very tight abs is what we like. I want you to hold it. If you wanna do leg lifts, you can, but I prefer you hold it. Hold it and squeeze, you should even make your body shake. <clears throat> All right, we're almost done. Keep it up. Remember, variation, put that leg out in front. All right, let me scoot up. Hold it just like this. You can also put one foot in front of the other like this. It's easier. Remember to breathe, I'm shaking. That means my core is weak, which is awesome. If you're shaking, you're toning. So don't feel bad if you shake. All right, let's twist over. Almost done. Stay lifted if you can. Stay lifted, you're toning more. Inverted plank. Forcing these hips up to the sky. Beginners, don't feel bad if you need to rest. That's fine. Lift yourself right back up and get into it. We're breathing, we're breathing, we're breathing. We're almost done. The last plank, we got. <clears throat> Get ready to hold it. Hold it. You could do, even do arm lifts like this. If you want to make it harder. Remember to free, squeeze, and keep the oblique lifted up. All right, there we go. So that was an extremely quick workout. Plank work is awesome work. If you work on your planks, you will not only strengthen and shed fat in your core area, you work your shoulders, your wrists. Those of you that have weak wrists, holding that body weight up is good. So body weight workouts are awesome. You guys already know that by now. But try to incorporate that, I mean, before you wake up. That little um, four minute workout just now, I got a little sweat on. That might be what you need to get out of bed. Roll out of bed, get on the floor, try this workout. Totally cool. Lunch break. Go somewhere and try it. Go to the gym. Let that be your warm up or cool down uh, before you go to bed. Same thing if you need that blood flow in a little bit to make you tired to go to bed. Oh, not sleepy. Get on the floor, try this workout. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, try it, practice it. If you want to make it even more challenging, Instead of doing a Tabata, do 10 seconds of rest, and then next time do 30 seconds of work. Hold that plank for 30 seconds. Uh, then the next week, maybe try doing 40 seconds. Still resting 10. Try it, let me know how you need to do, and I will see you guys for our next workout. Bye.